Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Peter Digby. I'm the president of Performance Analytics, and we're excited to have you here for the next 30 minutes. I'm pleased to be joined by Pierre Meyer and Julian DeGrip from RapidViews, and together we're going to be presenting the unique and powerful capabilities RapidViews provides to accelerate, centralize, and manage your analytics projects on SAP HANA. Just before we get started, I'd like to mention that this session is being recorded and we will be sending you a replay of this webinar along with a full copy of the slides. If, uh, if you have any questions, please submit them using the chat facility and we'll try to answer them all online as we go along. There will be uh, a Q&A session at the end of the webinar as well. With that, uh, let's jump right in. Let me take uh, just a moment here to introduce you to Performance Analytics, or a systems integrator for enterprise performance management and analytics, analytics solutions for SAP ERP customers. And our mission is to help organizations move faster by implementing analytics software solutions to manage, move, govern, govern and arrange data for planning, reporting, and enterprise analytics. Over the last 21 years, we've helped over 150 customers improve their planning, reporting, and analytics. And the SAP products we specialize in include SAP Business Planning and Consolidation, otherwise known as BPC, SAP Analytics Cloud, and Analytics Cloud for Planning, uh, BW for HANA, and more recently, Datasphere. And of course, we're a RapidViews partner with responsibility for sales, implementations, and ongoing support. Give you a quick, uh, quick snapshot of our customers. They range from small to medium-sized businesses, right up to large enterprises, and they can cover a wide variety of industries and geography. But what most of these companies here have in common is they are running SAP ERP and they engage performance analytics to bring their reporting and analytics projects to life. Okay, so that's performance analytics. Now I'd like to turn the presentation over to Pierre and Julian to introduce you to RapidViews. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot for these, uh, this introduction, Peter, and uh, welcome also from, from my side. Really happy to present you our RapidViews today with a focus on our BI Accelerator feature. To uh, give you also from our side a quick intro, so RapidViews is a software developer. We're specialized in SAP analytics based on many, many years of BI experience and uh, best practice in the world of SIP with the objective to um, accelerate the deployment of analytics projects on SAP HANA. So yeah, we are uh, an SAP partner, really have a strong connection here. Um, everything is in line with their best practice and strategy. Therefore, all our solutions are SAP certified and we're also available on the SAP store, for example. Also here, a snapshot of our uh, customer references, which uh, certainly you will see some big players of our home market in France, like Total Energy, NG, Louis Dreyfus Company. But there's also some other European markets there, like Sunstar or Lindt Switzerland, uh, a German group in the semiconductor sector, and also outside of Europe, where um, um, we are uh, present here, for example, with uh, Sustel and Susi Techno, uh, a case where we're going to look into a bit later in, in more detail, a uh, customer success story of this Canadian customer. We also have a strong international partner network. Uh, also here you can see, of course, mainly uh, focus also in France and other European markets but also we are really happy to have performance analytics as very strong partner for uh, the whole, uh, for North America, so USA and Canada. 
And with this, we're going to move a bit more into uh, into the, the details, but to give you an overview a bit maybe of what we consider to be uh, an average BI project, where we're saying that a company which is using SAP, usually they are all like there's thousands and thousands of, of SAP tables. They are uh, for a certain standard all the same. So we're saying that more or less 70% of a BI project uh, is consisting of a common foundation, which you can see across the different industries. And for this, and based on this, we have uh, therefore created already prepackaged business contents, which are considering this 70% uh, standard. But then there's uh, obviously 30% left, which uh, on the other hand needs to be uh, remain flexible and needs to be also able to develop it. Uh, for certain specific needs of a company, of a certain IT infrastructure, of a certain industry, for example. And for this, we have also created a BI governance platform where we're centralizing and documenting not only our rapid views prepackaged business contents, but also all your new and existing developments uh, in, 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 the, in, in the analytics world. So that's a bit uh, the, the rough idea for what we consider, um, let's say, a BI project. And we used it as a baseline, again, to um, create and develop our rapid use platform and the BI accelerator business contents. So again, the overall objective on one side, accelerate the deployment of your BI project and then help you also to centralize it, map it, and manage it within uh, everything within the rapid use platform. We're going to uh, look into the architecture and connectivity where our rapid views can be deployed today. And uh, here we're really very flexible. So on one side, we can the rapid views can be deployed uh, at a similar spot where, for example, today you have the calculation views or the CDS views, so they can be directly deployed uh, on the ERP SAP uh, with the HANA technology. So it can be ECC on HANA, S4 HANA on-premise, or as for HANA Cloud, the public or the private version, where on these ones, obviously, you also have the embedded analytics, which are uh, yeah, a certain tool which uh, uh, or analytics possibilities and functionalities, which SAP is already bringing with the standard. But they are, let's say, a bit rather limited in focusing on transactional reporting. And with the rapid use, you can um, achieve to have a much more advanced reporting to access all the tables and really, uh, let's say, have a business intelligence reporting here. However, we can also, and we have uh, many, many clients which uh, didn't deploy them directly on the ERP, but which started um, a new BI project creating a data warehouse, a dedicated platform for analytics, as, for example, the, the SAPANA data, data warehouse, the different versions, or now SAP Datasphere. Um, which is being uh, strongly pushed by, by SAP and where we're really happy to already have six references today uh, on, on sub data sphere on this technology. So in this case, we deploy the rapid views on this data warehouse to use it as a dedicated analytics platform. And on top of this, you, uh, will, uh, you will receive the rapid views and the semantic layers uh, to be used and um, accessed by the different BI tools which are there on the market. But more on this, um, more on this on this slide. Um, again, this is really the strong connectivity which we achieve with the different connectors for our business contents on our platform. As one of the big advantages is that you can use them in all the different uh, reporting tools which are available on the markets. Um, for most of them, we also have already uh, let's say, uh, pre-prepared reports available as on SAP Web Intelligence, SAP Analytics Cloud, Power BI, Tableau. But also we have the connectors for SAP Analysis for Office, uh, SAP, um, uh, like the BEX queries, uh, Dig Dash, SAP Fury, and we're finalizing soon um, also the BI tool uh, click. On the other hand, we are importing data, as said before, from the different data sources, so calculation views, CDS views, sub data sphere, sub cloud platform. And also more recently, uh, we're able to, to map your whole environment on uh, SAP BW and here the different 
ADSO composite providers and the different BW objects. And to mention also that we are not importing any data, uh, but we are basically importing the metadata, so the, the structure of your data, which uh, certainly is also uh, an important and uh, interesting detail here. All right, and before moving on and going a bit more into detail on the BI accelerator, so the business contents, I would like to show you two customer success stories, which we had. Uh, briefly to introduce, again, you have the, um, the, the overall clients we have today. And as you can see, they have different deployments. So we had, we have some clients which are actually mainly using even our platform because they already have a lot of BI development and reports existing and uh, they use our platform to centralize it um, and have a total overview and documentation of their BI environment, which can be also consisting with data coming from different ERPs, data warehouses, and sometimes really complex BI and IT infrastructures. Um, and now I want to show you one uh, reference and one example from each of these two architectures. So starting with one client, Next Team Group, um, which directly um, deployed the reproduce on the ERP on the S4 HANA. And then a second example, which used the data warehouse uh, on SAP data, data sphere. So starting with the first case, um, a classic one. So next team group in the uh, aeronautic industry here uh, in the region of Toulouse, actually. They migrated to S4 HANA, had exponentially growing data. Uh, they also had time and budget constraints. Uh, nothing uncommon, I guess, and uh, therefore they were looking for a turnkey solution to directly start off with a strong BI project and foundation. And uh, yeah, it's a really good example for a perfect use case for the rapid views. It took us 50 days to deploy five different modules and provide them with 70, uh, 75 new KPIs for their Tableau software. So really in a short amount of time, uh, let's say, especially compared to when you start off from scratch and from a blank page and need to develop everything uh, on your own. Uh, this really was a huge, uh, a huge uh, time saving, uh, time saving approach. So they were directly deployed here, the rapid use on their S4 HANA and they used again the Tableau software as reporting tool and calculation views. Looking at the second Customer success story here. It was a say uh, the, the the main the main benefit or the main focus was a bit of a different one. Um, Susi Techno, so like mentioned, the Canadian customer uh, of uh, performance analytics, um, had issues to uh, address complex personalized reporting uh, on the S4 HANA public cloud, which is a bit limited here in the, let's say, embedded analytics as there is no direct access to the tables. So they were looking for a solution rather to uh, allow them for a more complex and advanced reporting. And uh, yeah, here the solution was SAP Datasphere with the rapid views implemented, implemented on this data warehouse. And they could uh, therefore, after the installation phase of 10 days per module only, uh, they could instantly use then uh, the RapidViews business content and uh, yeah, the standard reports in their SAP Analytics Cloud. So again, you see here also a different reporting tool used by this customer and this together with the CDS views. And uh, yeah, again, a huge time saving factor in only two months, uh, they had their first advanced reporting delivered. Okay, uh, we're gonna now look into the, we just saw that they were also uh, deploying four different modules and we want to look into those ones. So the SAP core modules here, you see the full notion, which you certainly know, like finance and controlling, FICO, PP production planning, MM material management, sales and distribution and the other ones which you can see here. And we have prepackaged business content for all of those different modules. What did we do from a technical point of view? We started as mentioned earlier on those standardized SAP tables and did like on, the, on, the, on this, let's say base of the technical data layer and did all the data modeling starting with uh, dimension views and fact views, creating, let's say, these star schema or molecules, also called 
SAP uh, SAPANA virtual data marts, which are um, yeah using all those different uh, data from and and uh, tables from the SAP modules, sometimes also cross modular. So this allows allows really for a more advanced reporting. On top of this, we provide the semantic layers, which is, uh, helps for much more comprehensive reporting also towards the, the business people and the business layer, for whom then at the very end, we also uh, provide a full set of analytics on the different uh, already mentioned BI reporting tools. So this to give a rough idea of the technical structure. And I want to also show you one example of what is really behind the business content, in this case, using um, one of the most, uh, I would say, um, distributed uh, modules, which is uh, FICO, so finance and controlling. Here we are delivering for the submodules finance and controlling 12 data marts, 50 KPIs, the full semantic layer, uh, as just mentioned, and in this case, also seven sample reports here we have five of them mentioned uh, as example, cost analysis, balance sheet, fixed assets, cash flow, or payments pending. And uh, again, we're going to share with you the full deck of slides. So you're also going to see and some, some more details on the other SAP modules. Um, the overall quantity we have then here for the different models is we're providing 60 data marts. Uh, then as mentioned before, uh, very important, the cross-modular ones where you are mixing and combining data from different areas and um, modules. We have more than 20 of those cross-module data marts, 350 KPIs, we're having, yeah, using access to more than 1,300 SAP tables and have 60 pre-created reports available for you. And this way, you're, as mentioned, not starting from a blank page, but basically you're saving all this um, preparation phase and your BI project can start right here with, therefore, on average, a time saving of 70% uh, of the whole standard deployment. So again, uh, really those BI accelerators with the biggest advantage of 10 days installation only per module, a very fast implementation. You remain, that's another important point, fully flexible because they are all 100% customizable. You don't get those reports and they, uh, they are not, uh, like they are fully um, able to, to be customized, uh, customized in the report, the data marts, facts and dimensional views which is really also the idea to give you full autonomy um, on this part. It's, uh, as said, totally in line with the SAP strategy and their best practice. Therefore, you have a sustainability over time, which is guaranteed also for the different versions of S4HANA, for example. And it's uh, yeah, highly compatible to the different BI reporting tools on the market. All right, enough of uh, the theory. I'm now going to hand you over to Alexandre, who's going to show you, uh, yeah, give you a little tour in our business contents and uh, our platform. Yes, thank you, Pierre. Um, so, as you say, you, well, we provide approximately uh, 10 dashboards per, uh, per module. So, on, uh, on FICO, SD, uh, MM, PP, uh, QM, PM, and, uh, and others. Uh, this is an example um, that, I, that I share uh, of a report that can be uh, implemented on the uh, MM module. So, this is a procurement dashboard. Um, so what we provide is a um, uh, template of, uh, of Power BI's, but uh, we can also provide uh, the, and deploy the reports in the SAP Analytics Cloud technology. The Tableau as well, and uh, analysis for office and, uh, and business object. Um, so this is a dashboard about the procurement. What we do as well uh, is um, some dashboard that are cross-module. So we are uh, uh, very strong to uh, cross the data between, for instance, MM and, uh, and FICO. So this is an example of a 
of dashboard that uh, is the procure to pay. So we uh, we start the process flow um, on, uh, on the MN side, and uh, we uh, then uh, cross the data with the finance uh, side uh, to have the, um, the procure to pay uh, dashboard. Um, we provide a semantic. This is um, so what we can find, what we can do is uh, for you is to um, also to customize uh, these uh, dashboards. Okay, so we deliver this kind of uh, first version of dashboard and then you can uh, access to the semantic layer that we provide. Um, so you can here, for instance, see all the master data relative to the company, the jail account, the material, and see as well uh, every uh, transactional data. And you can uh, customize your own KPI with the semantic uh, and all the, the fields that uh, are available on the top of uh, our uh, content. Uh, this is an example of a profit and loss uh, dashboard. We provide also the, um, all the finance uh, hierarchies. Uh, this is an example of uh, a balance sheet on the profit and loss uh, structure. Um, they are here the offset, uh, offsetting account, and we give also in every uh, of our uh, dashboard, uh, we give the details uh, of the, um, the document number. So this is the the finance document number, uh, number for finance, but uh, it could be uh, um, the purchase order for MM, the, the sales document for uh, for SD, etc., etc. Um, so you can completely customize this uh, this dashboard, modify uh, the filters. You see, um, it is um, uh, in ten in ten days per module, you will have uh, ten reports that um, uh, it's an initialization of uh, your uh, uh, BI uh, deployment. Every um, every report that we deliver uh, um, has been already uh, validated uh, with uh, previous uh, customers. And uh, on all these dashboards, this is an example of order uh, SD sales order to to pay. Um, here, all these dashboards um, uh, were um, were built uh, on. Uh, customer uh, needs and customer uh, requirements and uh, we we have tried to uh, capitalize on all this uh, knowledge to provide uh, uh, these uh, these dashboards okay uh, so this is an example of uh, three uh, dashboard uh, we have also a website uh, here so this is the rapid use platform where you can see the exhaustivity of, uh, of all uh, all our content Okay, so for instance, uh, we can go to the analytics hub to see uh, per module uh, every um, every uh, analytics object that we provide. So you can navigate here uh, uh, in the sales and distribution uh, sub modules. You can go um, in the finance accounting, uh, for instance, the accounting receivable. And on the right uh, panel, you can uh, see every uh, dashboard that uh, we provide. So this is uh, a site where uh, we uh, we have centralized the documentation of um, of our uh, analytics, okay, of our business contents. So okay, so the the reports, uh, the Power BI reports here, it's uh, all uh, all um, is uh, documented uh, here in the platform. So you can see uh, the description, a picture of the of the dashboard, and also see the uh, all the semantic uh, fields that are available in this uh, dashboard and see the data lineage. So it's quite important for uh, some uh, key user and IT user to see uh, um, the, the data lineage and uh, which uh, SAP tables uh, are connected uh, in our uh, content. So this is the rapid views uh, order to pay uh, dashboard that is uh, a combination of uh, all these uh, SAP, uh, SAP tables. Uh, we have also uh, KPI Hub. So this is uh, where we have centralized uh, every uh, every KPI that we have uh, defined in uh, our content, um, and you can navigate here, for instance, in the in the financial accounting, or uh, make a search on uh, the past due, and see, for instance, this KPI that is provided in the in the standard version of Rapidius, number of days past due. And you will have uh, a description and the um, and uh, the the, uh, the formula also. You can see, okay, the, the formula uh, that is 
uh, used to build this kind of, uh, of KPIs on every SAP uh, uh, technical fields that uh, are uh, in this kind of formula. Okay, so here I can see that this is the number of day, days between the effective due date and the aging reference date. Um, so do not hesitate to, to, um, to ask us to create uh, uh, some access for you if you want to navigate in uh, this documentation for, for our uh, content. And uh, do not hesitate as well to, to ask us uh, some uh, questions about uh, if you have uh, specific uh, needs on, uh, on finance or uh, other, uh, other milieu. Uh, Pierre, I can uh, give you the, the, the hand to continue the presentation. All right. Thanks a lot, Alexandra. Okay. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot for this demo. Uh, really uh, a, a quick one um, to show you and give you an idea of the business contents, the platform, the different functionalities. And yeah, again, as Alexandra said, we're really happy to have uh, dedicated demos. Look also at your BI context. And I'm going to hand over for how to get started with Rapid Views. I'm going to hand over to Peter. Okay. Thanks, Pierre. Yeah, getting started with Rapid Views. Uh, let me suggest uh, we start with a discovery call uh, just to review your current state and desired future state. Another option, if you'd like to schedule a demo session tailored to your organization, let me know. Uh, we'd be happy to oblige. Approximately one hour of your time is all that's needed. And as it says uh, on the third bullet, bring us a challenging use case. Uh, Rapid Views offers a test environment where prospective customers can test out their use case. I mean, this is a, a really nice thing about Rapid Views is you can easily perform a proof of concept, you know, with your data. Uh, below are a couple, you know, you see some bullets there with uh, examples of some use cases, but you're going to have your own. And again, uh, I think it's important to challenge us here. And then lastly, if you like what you see, you know, we'll, we'll arrange for you to speak with references. Uh, to hear about their experience. Okay, so we're coming right up perfectly to the half hour mark. Uh, we're open for Q&A right now. Let's open it up for Q&A, use the remaining time. Uh, yeah. Pierre, did you? I, I, I think, uh, yeah. Go ahead. We have, yeah, we, we actually got, uh, got some questions. I'm gonna maybe start right away to use the time and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna maybe leave it to Alexandra to give a a more technical uh, answer. Uh, the first one is, uh, yeah, if, if those are pre-packaged reports, that maybe goes along a bit with the second question. Um, if we also have the ability to create ad hoc reports. Yes, um, if we have the possibility to create the, the report. Sorry, Pierre. Yeah, exactly. So in the end, if you could underline again that yes we are supplying or providing pre-packaged reports but mm -hmm. they can be modified and you can also create completely new reports uh, where we actually have also this uh, feature of the analytics wizard mm. yes and we have also uh, a team with uh, consultant uh, people that uh, every day uh, build uh, new reports for our customers on uh, different uh, technology uh, like Power BI, but also uh, Stat Analytics, Cloud, uh, Tableau, um, Analysis for Office as well. And, um, and all these people um, can also modify, you know, the, the modelization uh, layer uh, to provide uh, the good semantic to, uh, to the end users. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hope that this uh, this answered, answered the question. But again, we're more than happy to have a call a bit more detailed on this and uh, and look in, into your needs. Maybe, uh, yeah, I see another one here. Uh, if the rapid views also work with non-SAP data. Yes. Um, so in fact, uh, rapid views, the, the, the standard business content is based on uh, SAP data uh, and the, the core module of uh, SAP like uh, FICO, SDM, etc. But in the, in the, 30% phases, 
when we uh, customize the content, we can uh, combine this data with non-SAP data. Uh, it can uh, it can be uh, done directly in the S4HANA or uh, in a data sphere uh, data warehouse. But uh, yes, we deliver a content that is completely um, customizable. So you can then add, uh, add uh, every SAP data that you want or even uh, non-SAP data, uh, no, no issue uh, with, uh, with that. Okay. And I see another one came in, um, which is uh, which language is used to create the calculations or the measures in rapid views. Okay, it's uh, French, the first one, and also uh, English. Uh, this is the two language that uh, we we used to uh, to use. But uh, if you uh, <laughs> have uh, another language. Uh, uh, for uh, your implementation uh, of your BI, uh, we could uh, discuss yes of, uh, which uh, language uh, could be uh, interesting for you. But uh, yes, by, by default, we deliver the content uh, in English and also in French for our uh, French customers. All right, uh, we're already two two minutes above, but I see that another uh, question came in. Maybe maybe the last one, but. Uh, it is if training is part of the package to create our own ad hoc reports. And mm. uh, I mean, maybe from, from my side, absolutely. The goal is really to make you autonomous. We're, um, we're a software developer. We're, we're, we're not, we don't have the focus of consulting. We do this consulting work and, and training and help you with specific reports also to develop, develop them, but it's not our main not our main purpose, let's say. So we really want you to be fully autonomous in managing and also making develop your own BI project. But I don't know, Alexandre, if you, regarding the training, you want to share a few words? Uh, yes, we, we deliver the content and uh, we, uh, we supply and uh, support the, the customer to uh, uh, for, for the customer teams to be able to maintain the content and, uh, and develop new reports from, from scratch. So it can be on, uh, on the S4HANA or, uh, or uh, STC uh, uh, knowledge, but uh, yes, we, we share with you our best practice uh, to, to maintain uh, all, the, all the content and uh, to be sure that you, you will be autonomous uh, at the end of the, the 10 days uh, that we deliver uh, uh, the module. All right. I think, uh, yeah, for the moment, it looks like that's it for the for the questions. Uh, then, yeah, sure. I would really like to say thank you from, from our side. Thanks a lot. And uh, I hand over to Peter maybe for some last words. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, hopefully you've seen the value Rapid Views can bring to your organization. Now, as our customers will attest to, Rapid Views saves a lot of time and money in getting your HANA analytics up and running. So you will be receiving an email with my contact information along with the webinar replay link and a copy of the slides. And please don't hesitate to reach out to me with your questions or requests for additional information. You may want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo. Uh, you may have questions about pricing. Whatever it is, my email contact will be there and I, I welcome uh, hearing from you. And this concludes our webinar. Thank you very much for your time today.